The Swiss fox rabbit is a domesticated breed of rabbits that was originally bred in Switzerland back in the 1920s. The Swiss fox rabbit is a rare rabbit breed that resulted from a cross between the Havana rabbit and the Angora rabbit. They have not caught on globally but are well known throughout Europe and are used as show rabbits. These foxes had pelts that were coveted in Switzerland due to how effective they are against the cold weather. In that regard, that was how this breed got its name as the Swiss fox rabbit. Such a breed of the rabbit was initially made to be a substitute for the Arctic fox's pelt, but the breeders could not quite achieve what they had originally hoped for. While these rabbits were not very popular back in the day due to the failure of the breeders, they eventually became favorites as household pets. Physical Description As far as body structure is concerned, the Swiss fox rabbit is a medium-sized rabbit that has a compact build. It really does not look the part, but this rabbit actually is very lean and built to be quite muscular. In that regard, it is quite different compared to its other domesticated cousins, who are most likely going to be plump and fat when compared to the Swiss fox rabbit. The color of a Swiss fox rabbit's coat really varies. When it was new to the scene, its coat was only bluish in terms of color. Now, there are different varieties of Swiss fox rabbits that have different colored coats. Their colors now include white, black, and pastel colors. Meanwhile, what gives this rabbit its iconic look and its popularity is its long coat. It might not have the same type of coat that the fox has, but it has since become very popular because of how long and silky its fur is. Personality The Swiss fox rabbit is actually similar to other domesticated breeds of rabbits in the sense that it is very affectionate and friendly towards its owner. This rabbit enjoys being around humans and other household pets that are safe for it to be around with. It loves interacting with its humans and is even fond of cuddles while lying down on a lap. At the same time, it can also be quite docile and will not be too defensive when you are trying to handle it because of how it is receptive to human handling. These rabbits are also quite calm and are not overly energetic. That makes it a very good rabbit to be around with for goods and older adults alike. The Swiss fox rabbit is simply delightful to be around due to how it acts like your usual household pet. Expect it to want to be around with you for long periods of time. But be careful to not agitate it as it can cause injuries to itself and kids when it tries to jump off a lap when it becomes too agitated. Swiss fox rabbits can live for up to 8 years when you give it the best kind of care it deserves. Most of these domesticated rabbits can live for at least 5 years, so long as they are given the minimum care, they require under a family that is quite affectionate as well. Reproduction Swiss fox rabbits have similar reproductive behavior as any other domesticated breed of rabbit. They will reach the age of maturity at around 4 to 5 months old and are going to be able to give birth multiple times in a single calendar year due to how short their gestation period tends to be. Behavior Friendly and very affectionate, the Swiss fox rabbit behaves in a manner that is similar to any other household rabbit bred for domestic purposes. This breed is quite calm and does not behave in a manner that is quite difficult to handle. Instead, they are actually pretty well behaved and will not do anything that is out of the normal unless they get too agitated. Try not to agitate them if you want them to maintain their usual calm temperament. The Swiss fox rabbit is also considered to be one of the smartest breeds of rabbits. These rabbits are smart enough that you can potty train them without a lot of problems. They also understand their limitations and will not demand too much time out of you. So long as you provide them with the right amount of cuddles they need, they will behave in a manner that is suitable for a household pet that is not too active and energetic. Eating Habits the Swiss fox rabbit is like any other domesticated breed of rabbits when it comes to its diet. It will thrive on meals that have a lot of fiber. So, in that regard, expect it to prefer a diet that is based primarily on grass or plant-based foods such as hay. In fact, its meals should be about 60-70% to hay as they already get most of their nutritional needs from that type of food. Rabbit pellets are also acceptable types of food for your Swiss fox rabbit. You can supplement your Swiss fox rabbit's diet with vegetables and greens that are safe for it to eat. Roughage can also be a good type of food as they allow your rabbit to gnaw on them so that their teeth stay at the right size and shape. But, when feeding your bunny with other types of food, it is important for you to do your research first as these rabbits tend to be quite susceptible to digestive problems due to how they are most likely going to consume their own hair from time to time. Availability Swiss fox rabbits are not very common in the United States but are easier to get in Europe due to how they are native to that region. A Swiss fox rabbit can cost about $30 to $40 in the United Kingdom but can be more expensive in the US due to how they are not too common in America. Taking care of a Swiss fox rabbit Caring for the Swiss fox rabbit is not more challenging than for any other breed. These rabbits are quite relaxed and friendly. 
Even their long coat is low maintenance because of its texture and density. Swiss fox rabbits require the same kind of care as any other domesticated breed of rabbit. Their diet is more or else the same as their cousins from the Havana and Chinchilla breeds but in smaller quantities due to how it is smaller in terms of its overall body structure. They also require the same amount of interaction and affection on your part because they tend to be quite affectionate pet rabbits. The tricky part about caring for the Swiss fox rabbit is related to its long hair. These rabbits need to be regularly brushed to prevent matting and to make sure that any excess hair is removed. Excess hair can be a problem for these rabbits as they may accidentally ingest their own hair and cause problems with their digestion. In that regard, it is very important for you to make sure that you keep them well groomed. Almost all rabbits require about the same kind of enclosure or habitat setup. These rabbits are particularly well suited to living in an indoor hutch because they were bred for commercial purposes before becoming beloved pets. If you need them to be, they could adapt to living in an outdoor hutch. However, you should expect more coat maintenance and socialization time if you opt for the outdoors. They do need a spacious cage. It should be at least 30 by 30 by 24 so they can comfortably hop, stretch, and sit up. In addition, they should be given plenty of time outside their cage to get exercise. You can put them in a playpen either inside the house or outdoors. When they are outside, ensure that they are protected from predators. Even though the Swiss fox has a longer coat, they are still considered low maintenance to grow. Brush through their fur at least once a week to keep it free from tangles and mats. This time is also perfect for bonding between you and your rabbit. Rabbits molt at least once each year. Since the Swiss fox has such a dense coat, they shed quite a bit during this period. Although they try to groom themselves, they will need more brushing to prevent too much fur from ending up in their digestive tract and making them sick. Swiss fox rabbits tend to get along with other rabbits, especially those in their breed. It is best to introduce them slowly, and it might be necessary to give them separate living spaces and only put them together in a larger playtime pen. Females tend to be more territorial than males, but this doesn't always manifest. Keep in mind that rabbits are relatively low on the food chain. If you have any other animals, like dogs or cats, you should keep them protected and entirely separate. These larger animals have instinctual prey drives that might cause them to harm the rabbits unless they socialized with them from a very young age. Even then, you should always monitor their interactions. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.